I'll show you how to use the Create tab in Captioneer. First, we pick a track to target. These correlate to the video tracks on the timeline, and then we select either Full Sequence or In to Out. If we select Full Sequence, Captioneer will process the entire timeline. If we select In to Out, it will only process that In to Out region. I'll leave it on Track 2, Full Sequence, and hit Add. Our Mogrits are added to Track 2. I'll select a new Mogret and hit Add again. Because there's already clips on this track, Captioneer asks us if we'd like to overwrite them. I'll hit Don't Ask Again and then Confirm. Everything on Track 2 is removed and then replaced with the new Mogerts. We can also tell Captioneer to always create a new track at the top of our timeline. I'll hit Add, and Track 3 is automatically created. We can also use the In to Out button. I'll set In and Out points by hitting I and O on the keyboard. Target Track 2, and then hit Add, and Mogerts are added just to that section. We can even mix and match different Mogerts on one track. I'll select this other one, set my region, and hit Add. This time, Captioneer added one extra Mogert past our in to out region, and that's because our out point is actually including the next subtitle located in our SRT file. I'll come up to edit undo that last action, and then move that out point back by one frame so it's no longer including the following subtitle, and then hit add once more. Now they insert precisely where we want. Here's a pro tip for precisely setting in and out points. Select a few clips and hit the forward slash button on the keyboard. This creates an in to out range around your selection. This helps you quickly add Mogerts into precise sections while you're editing. Using this method, I can quickly add Mogerts to the rest of the timeline. Captioneer is extremely accurate and will do what you tell it. Finally, let's move these clips so they're not over his face. I'll reposition in the effect controls panel and then turn off the old captions one clip has been updated. We can right click it and hit copy and then select all the other clips and hit paste attributes. Hit OK and the position for all clips on our timeline has been updated. That's the basics of Captioneer. Perfect your first frame. I really believe this is one of the most overlooked things because your first frame to your short form is as important as your thumbnail to your long form. Mark my words. What I mean by your first frame is literally what do you see at zero seconds of your short? And does everything you see there set up expectation and tension for what you're about to watch? In the next video, I'll show you how to retime captions on the timeline.